Um, hi, this is Paul and Tony, and I'm doing a screencast on number two in the more portion of salvation worksheet. Um, <clears throat> so number two, it says, a 20 kilogram mass is allowed to accelerate down a frictionless 15 degree line. So A, what is the acceleration of the block down the line? And B, how long will it take for the block to slide 30 meters? Um, so here's what I got. Um, first what I did was I drew the picture. Here's a ramp and then a block, tw um, 20 kilograms, you see. And then there's a 15, um, degree, sort of, yeah, again, it's 15 degrees. And it's frictionless, so ignoring friction and or after ignoring the pair system. Um, here, <laughs> I drew the force diagram. So, um, the, uh, the air pointing down would be a gravitational, gravitational force, also known as a weight, and um, that's 200 newtons, um, assuming that we are on Earth. And so um, the weight of um, um, or the conversion would be 10 newtons per kilogram. Um, and then there's also a force upward um, that's parallel to the surface, and that is your normal force. So here um, we have our uh, vector sun diagram. So um, this vector pointing down would be our weight of 200 newtons, and then we have um, our normal forces here. And then in red, what we have is um, our net force. And so net force is equal to mass of times acceleration. Um, and we know this because of the second law. So um, I just drew it here. Um, Showing that it's perpendicular to a thousand degrees, and then this angle would be 15 degrees. And I use that because I just compared it to this triangle right here. Um, so, for the first part, we were trying to look for acceleration. So, um, to find acceleration, we would need to know what our net force is first. And so, to find that force, um, it would be sine of 15 degrees is equal to the net force of 200 over 200 newtons because um to find that or because sine is opposite over adjacent or ha opposite over hypotenuse our hypotenuse is the 200 newtons or the weight while um our opposite is the net force and so after um writing down the equation of Sine 15 equals net force over 200. I multiplied 200 from both sides. And then I substituted net force for mass times acceleration. And <clears throat> um, I plugged in for our mass since we already know that. It's 20 kilograms. And then I divided 20 from both sides. And ultimately I got 2.59 meters per second squared is equal to, is our acceleration. That just pretty much means that um, for every second that passes, the velocity increases by 2.59 meters per second. Um, to find our time, I use um, displacement, and I use this graph or a velocity time graph. Um, by the way, I wrote, I drew out um, all four graphs: position time, velocity time, acceleration time, and net force time. And so, um, for this, again, I, like I said, I use a displacement, which is the area, um, underneath the velocity time graph. And so, um, for, for an object that's traveling 30 meters, it, um, to find that, you would have to equal that to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. So, um, time squared would be equal to 23.16. Okay, so I plugged in the acceleration. So, time squared is equal to 23.16. Um, squared out would mean, would be 4.81 seconds is equal to time. So, um, that would mean that it would take the block, um, 4.81 seconds to travel 30 minutes. That's it.